Good afternoon, everyone. I've got a couple of things that I'm getting done today, which is really exciting. So my new desk arrived and I'm actually gonna have to do a little bit of a throwback to unboxing that because I couldn't wait. I had to get that all prepped so I could continue working and then sell my other one. So I'll show you guys that in a second and it actually looks incredible. So if you remember, I got the curvy kind of looking desk from Lifely and absolutely no regrets. The quality and everything is like, so that's a really good one. And then what else do I need to do? Oh, I actually bought a filing cabinet from Officeworks and a couple of filing tabs and things because I now no longer have any desk drawers in the new desk, but I still need to have a place to put like project filing stuff and just like stationery and all of those little bits and pieces. And I was just finding it a little bit messy. So I found a beautiful filing cabinet at Officeworks and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys because I only picked it up last night and it is currently sitting on the floor over by the computer. But first things first, I I really need to make some lunch. I am absolutely starving and I've kind of been really craving like Mexican food and nachos and that kind of thing. So I think I'll just make myself a really easy little bowl of homemade nachos. Just before I have my lunch, I'm also gonna have a little shot of this. It's from Juice Lab. Um, you just get it at Woolworths in the refrigerated section and it is so good. Apple cider vinegar, acacia and wheatgrass. I don't know what kind of magic is in this, but I actually got poisoned at a cafe last weekend. Not really, that sounds more more dramatic than it is but actually it was kind of dramatic because they gave me a cappuccino and not an almond cappuccino and that is not a preference thing for me as you guys know if you've been around here for a little while I'm lactose intolerant so that actually made me really sick my entire Sunday was a complete write-off I ran to the pharmacy and bought some lactase tablets but it just did not help me at all and I've been so unwell ever since I've got like full on severe bloating for the entire week. And now we're at the following week and I'm still trying to just reset my gut. So I've been taking dairy-free probiotics. I've got this gut stuff and I'm finally feeling better today, but I actually just can't believe how like irresponsible of the guy to not check the order. Cause I really didn't want to be rude, but it's just like, you actually just serve me milk like anyway so if you're a food allergy person you would know they also serve jazz and normal brownie and not a gluten-free one so a little bit of a um strike in my books for trying a new cafe i think we'll just stick to the local that actually knows our orders but yeah now i'm gonna make those little nachos so i'll show you my ingredients It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I take your options very exciting delivery today. My new desk has just arrived from Lifely and I'm very excited to put it together. I also just put my Ikea Mick desk up on Facebook Marketplace and someone already said they're going to come and buy it. So now I need to move everything off that and then I can go ahead and build the other desk, which is very, very exciting because I want to clear all of that stuff off and then I'll get a little filing cabinet to put underneath this. But I think that box is the pillar and this one is the big desktop. So quite a lot to do here and it was very heavy as well. I just made a huge mess clearing everything off so it's a little bit chaotic here at the moment but I'm going to carry this downstairs now so the Facebook marketplace person can have it and then I can unbox the new desk and hopefully that's really straightforward to put together. It's literally just a pillar and one side leg so I think I'll be able to do that one myself. And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you 
new desk is all in now and I need to go ahead and replug everything back in and then I'll need to get some cable ties or something to make sure that the cable bits are going to be a little bit tidier since they'll be hanging down behind an open desk. So this is the filing cabinet that I got. I went for a white one. I had looked on Facebook Marketplace to see if I could get one secondhand a little bit cheaper but unfortunately people only had the black and I don't want anything more black in the apartment because I just think it would be too dark and also I specifically wanted this one because I only want one file drawer and then it's also just got two regular drawers for all the stationery and things like that so I thought this would be perfect it wasn't the cheapest in the whole world it was $229 at Officeworks and I wish there was such a thing as discount codes or sales and things there but it doesn't terribly seem to happen that often but tax write-off anyway I guess because it is a work piece of equipment so I'm gonna unbox this now and then we can have a look at that together so I kind of really want to put this next to the desk and potentially have the printer sit on top of it but that might mean that I've got to have the casters off because the dimension was I think 585 with the casters off which would mean I could fit the printer on top and still slide it under the desk so that's kind of what I've got to work out I'm really really hoping it literally just comes out of here in one piece if I have to fully build this thing I think I will actually have a mental breakdown Thankfully it was not a flat pack, it's just a fully built little unit and the wheels on it seem to work really nicely which is pretty cute so I thought I would just pop them on so I can at least wheel it over to the desk and test the height and then if I need to I can just take them off because they quite literally just screwed in and out. It's got these two little stationery drawers and then the one big filing drawer so it feels pretty decent quality as well which is nice. So that's what it's like with the casters on and I do think it looks really neat and tidy sitting next to the desk but I'm definitely going to have to take those off if I want any chance of moving the printer from up there to on top of this little filing cabinet instead. So I'm just going to quickly do that now and then hopefully I can move the printer down. So I've just gone ahead and unscrewed the little caster wheels and I'll keep them aside for whenever I end up moving this and have a little bit more space but the problem is I've now got these screw holes here which I don't want sitting on the nice timber floor of my rental. So thankfully I keep a home hardware box and I actually had this sticky sort of foam mat stuff and it's quite thick so I'm just going to cut that into quarters and then I can pop that over each one of those little screw hole areas or maybe even just next to it and that will kind of keep it raised up off the floor. Okay I've popped on all of these little pieces of fabric feet now and I'll be able to move it back into position. Turns out it was a little bit of a much of a muchness with the casters on or off and it's kind of easier to have them on for moving the cabinet around so I actually ended up screwing them back on after all of that because the actual bench top itself is quite thick and I just hadn't added the extra depth on that for my calculations about fitting the printer under so it just has to go to the side anyway which is no big deal I've just kind of stacked it over there with the calendar on top of it and that is kind of the desk setup at the moment so really good in terms of new desk space because now the whole other side of the desk is actually free for me to work from so I've got the laptop stand there but I can obviously pack that down if I want to and that means I can have the two monitors going but I would really love to get a new monitor I'll reward myself with that when I land one of these house projects that are coming up but it would be really nice to just have a white monitor I know obviously the in between the actual screen will always be black but I just think it would look a lot more modern with a beautiful clean white monitor and I mean ideally I would have two because that's kind of what I need for work but that is kind of where I'm at with the desk and I'm pretty happy with that. I just think it's a much better workplace. It's actually functional and now I just need to organize all of the things from my other boxes like cables and stuff into the filing cabinet drawers. I also picked up in white a pack of these A4 suspension files. It's just a 10 pack and that's going to go in the filing drawer to help me organize all of the various projects so I can just kind of keep the key information all in one place. And I think this was maybe like $12 from Officeworks. So I did kind of hunt around for white because I thought aesthetically that would look a lot nicer than the sort of really ugly bright colored ones that they kind of had as a default and I believe these were even cheaper anyway because they're literally just Officeworks brands. Those are all organized in the drawer now as well and I guess when I go back to Officeworks I'll just need to get some tabs for the top of them so I can actually see what each thing is at a glance but I'm definitely happy I went with the kind of cream white colored ones because I just think it looks a lot neater. I think I've earned myself an afternoon coffee, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that now.
All right, I'm gonna take this coffee and go and find somewhere to sit down, but I do have some kind of exciting news about uh, something I need to pack for later, which is Jazz and I are actually going for a little midweek staycation down in Phillip Island. So if you are not from Victoria, I'll pop a little map here so you can kind of figure out where it is, but it's about an hour and a half away and we just kind of wanted to book something just to get out of town and really enjoy a little bit of a weekend where we can just do some whining and dining and relaxing by a fire and like maybe some high and things like that and I've actually only been to Phillip Island once when I first moved to Melbourne and I haven't been back since so I thought it would be a really good little spot we were gonna do Wilson's prom but it is a little bit far and there was just not any nice accommodation down there I think I'd rather like actually just camp or do glamping or something in summer there instead but anyway that is actually coming up tomorrow so I'm gonna have to put together a little bag and prep and write our grocery list and things like that as well because I want to do a cheese platter for us while we're there but I'll definitely bring you guys along so you can see because it's a gorgeous little cabin and I actually think it's just going to be such a relaxing trip. Today turned out to be randomly really warm and sunny. It's actually about 24 degrees outside at the moment. So I'm thinking I might kind of pause on the packing situation and actually just head out for a beautiful afternoon walk because I can just come back and do all of that stuff tonight. It's not really a big deal. I ticked off so much on my to-do list today. So I'm gonna change into some active wear now and head out for my little hour long walk. It's kind of a loop I like to do around my area and then I can come back and get stuck into that and make some dinner. Baby, it's you, 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 Baby, it's you. I'm back from Woolies and my walk, so I thought I'd give you a really quick haul of some of the bits and pieces I have picked up for our stay. So I kind of thought when we booked this place that it had a kitchen or like proper cooking facilities, like a stovetop and things, but being that it is a cabin, it just has like a kitchenette. So there's a bar fridge, a toaster, a microwave, and a kettle and coffee machine. I think that's it. So we will adapt and overcome. I have figured out some ways that I can still make us a meal even without having a totally like equipped kitchen. So I actually had an idea that there is this place near me called Dynamic and I get a discount there because we're going to Body Fit and they have really good meals. So when I was really struggling with my interstitial cystitis, I used to actually shop there because they had a store that was like near my old apartment in South Yarra and basically it is really good food there is very clean ingredients in it and they also do a low FODMAP range um, not sponsored at all it's just like a really good store if you're someone who maybe struggles with a couple of issues and food intolerances and things like that because they have some really good options there and they even do vegetarian and vegan meals I think so pretty good range but I'll show you what I got from Willie's for our little trip away so I wanted to get a couple of things to do a DIY cheese platter because I am a platter queen and I make them way better than those fancy places so I got some dried fruit and some honey roasted cashews I also got some carrots some red capsicum and cucumber and I'll cut all of those up into little sticks. I also swear by these dips. This is the brand Yumi's. It's gluten-free and dairy-free. So again, really good for food intolerance people. I've never tried this flavor, but it looked kind of nice. So I thought that would be a good addition. I also got some ham and some roast beef to go on the platter as well, just to make it a little bit more filling. I found some olives that would be really nice to add in there as well. There is strawberries and blackberries because this is basically going to be like lunch slash picky bits for a couple of days. Um, I did get real cheese because there's no real compromise. If it's like pizza or something, I'll get the lactose free. But yeah, for a cheese platter, I will suffer and take my lactase tablets and try and eat a little bit of real cheese. So I got this traditional camembert and then I also got this vintage cheddar. So that's that. For crackers, I got these activated charcoal wafers and then just some cheapy little cracked pepper ones. I think those were like literally a dollar. And then for breakfast, I had an idea that you can literally just make scrambled eggs in the microwave. So I know they're gonna be providing like a nice sourdough and some jam and butter and all of that stuff. So I thought I will get an avocado. I already had some in the fridge, so I didn't need to buy. I got some eggs because I will make scrambled eggs in a mug in the microwave. I'm going to chop up some chives on top of it and avocado on toast. Boom, breakfast done. So we can save a bit of money there, not having to go out for breakfast. Um, 
This, okay, so, and then the last thing is I'm going to get one of those dynamic meals. They do a um, Thai green curry. So I'm going to go tomorrow morning and buy that from the store. And then I got some broccolini and some basmati rice. So again, it's a pre-cooked meal in a pouch. So I can do this, this, and that all in the microwave for a dinner. And that would still be quite nice. And then for dessert, these are one of my favorites. They are plant-based um, vegan chocolate mousse. So again, really good for anyone who's lactose intolerant. They are pretty delicious. And that will be our kind of um, dinner meal. And then just to go with brekkie as well in the morning, this is one of my favorite juices. It's the carrot, apple, orange, and ginger one from Nudie. So that's everything I got. Next, I'm just gonna make a quick dinner with a couple of things I found either in the fridge or in the freezer because again, I kind of didn't buy groceries for the week knowing that I was gonna be away. So I had some prawns in the freezer left over from when I made a stir fry the other day and I thought I might just cook those up with a little bit of broccoli that I'll just steam and then I've got some brown basmati rice or whole grain, whatever. And then on the prawns, I'm just gonna do some lemon juice and then some of this crunchy chili oil blend. I actually really like this. If if it would focus. This is my last little task for the evening. Sadly, Mr. Kitty is going back tomorrow because I am obviously heading away. So I've had him for about two weeks and I'm so, so impressed with his progress. He has done so well. This is the standard kind of foster care evaluation form that I fill out just to chat about his behaviors and what I've kind of noticed or any special care kind of notes during the fostering. And then this will go with him when he goes out for adoption so they can find a suitable home. So I thought I would just overlay a couple of my favorite images of him and a couple of little videos because he has just been the sweetest boy once his personality finally came out. He definitely wasn't a very cuddly kind of guy, but he absolutely loved getting belly scratches and ear scratches and I was just so impressed about how he managed to come out and sit on the rug and just like interact with me a lot more after he had kind of settled in the home. I also just did a lot of my laundry before and I stupidly put my gym tights in there that I really want to take away. So I think I'm just going to pack my bag tomorrow morning. I'm pretty tired now and thankfully I already got the groceries done, which means I don't have to go out again in the morning. I'll just go to my cardio gym class at seven o'clock and then I have a bit of time. We're going to leave at 12, I think, because it takes two hours to get there. So that will give me plenty of time to get settled and pack a bag. It's only two nights so it should be super easy and yeah that's about it so thank you guys for spending the day with me and stay tuned for that little Phillip Island vlog because I will be bringing you along so if you're not already make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video bye